Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. I was blessed with two moms. My mama, Deborah, did y'all all sing? Give her a round of applause. And then I was blessed with my big mama. And um, what I can tell you publicly is without big mama, I wouldn't be standing here today. I'm so thankful. Um, I was going to share three things that she taught me over the years. She taught me to love God. When I moved in with her, she always was a member of St. Galilee Missionary Baptist Church. And she took pride in being a missionary Baptist. Just let me tell you. She loved St. Galilee Missionary Baptist Church. As evident by the countless fundraisers that she did all the time. St. Galilee Missionary Baptist Church. <laughs> but for some reason, she sent us to Hopewell Missionary Baptist Church. I think the youth department, y'all didn't come to later. And so um, she made sure that we went and we had to dress accordingly and put on those holes and uh, memorize those speeches. And Mo was tough. But she not only loved the Lord by her presence and her financial blessing, but I remember even when she couldn't go to church, she sent her tithes. So I would have to walk over to Angel Roberto's and take her tithes envelope, remember the little brown envelope, and Mo was fervent about the Lord and about being a missionary Baptist. In addition, she taught me an incredible work ethic. My grandmother worked hard, y'all. I don't remember her missing a day of work. I don't remember her calling in sick. I don't remember her being late. Now, ain't Rose on the other hand, Sharon? And your mama, y'all were always late. <laughs> your mama was always mad. <laughs> and I remember that because we spent a lot of time uh, over at Miss Little Lou McMurray's. And, um, but she taught me so uh, much about working so hard. And I remember I was talking to her while traveling. She said, you got to sit down. You got to sit down. You got to sit down. And I was like, mom, you never sat down. That's right, baby, but I should have sat down. So... The other thing she taught me was about, she loved the family. Now, <laughs> I'm not going to start anything by saying I was a favorite. Because, um, <laughs> you know, Mary Ann and uh, Carly and I, we were the oldest. We uh, were the ones that were probably the most spoiled. But she had a way of making us all think. And Suzanne, we were, we, were, we were good. We didn't fight or anything. No, we really didn't. I'm serious. No. We didn't fight or argue or anything. We just might had a way of making us all feel like we were a favorite. Mm -hmm. And so she um, she treated all her, her children, all her grandchildren uh, differently. And it's interesting. As I was finding out about what was happening, my mama was calling from Atlanta. And y'all know, y'all witness, she's a little dramatic. So I, I, I had to confirm it. And so I called um, my cousin, Gwen, who was a little bit more calm. I called him Cal first, which, and she's a little dramatic as well. And so I called my cousin, Carl Ray, who's like a brother to me. And I said, Carl Ray. And you know, y'all know Carl Ray ain't giving you nothing. No emotion. He like Uncle Walter, he ain't giving you nothing. Like, all right, is this true? And Carly said, "What well, my mama said." And those who know Aunt Lois, y'all know Aunt Lois is not dramatic, and that's what it hit. That's what it hit. I was just saying that there was some truth to what was occurring because Aunt Lois said it, and she's not dramatic, and there was something going on. And what I can tell you um, for sure from talking to her and all these different times and looking out, my brother would be proud of y'all today. <laughs> it's been an incredible week, incredible week. And you know, the enemy comes, how many of y'all know about the enemy? He comes to steal, he comes to steal, he comes to destroy. But how many you know God came that we may have life and have it more money? <laughs> And a piece of that abundant life that my grandmother wanted, she wanted us to be unified. Yep. Yeah. And what I see today, what I've seen on this week, from Aunt Bobby, Aunt Lois, Aunt Cal, Uncle Walter, Uncle Dunny, Uncle Walter, Uncle Luster, and my mom, was the fact that you guys can be unified. Yeah. And that's the gift she wanted. This whole week, 
the whole week. Y'all have exhibited the essence of who my grandmother was, who your mother was, who our grandmother was, who Big Mama was, who Mother is. And so we want to honor her legacy, and then we got to continue to um, be strengthened in that love. And to my cousin, who was raised like a brother, let's give it up for Mother Kip Theory. Thank you for the leadership. Thank you for putting everything together. And I want God to continue to bless our entire family to grow stronger and stronger and continue to every day to make my grandmother proud. So ultimately, if we make mother proud, we're going to make the Lord proud. That's right. Thank you. 